Hey y'all, coming to you from International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2020 Detroit Autorama and I came across a 1956 Olds I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around we'll take a quick look at it. Guys, what a cool car. Tell me a little bit about it. Jeff is the owner here. We've been working on the car for the uh, past eight years. We've done everything. Right. <laughs> There's hardly nothing that we haven't touched from front to back. Jeff will give you a few ideas or well, a few... We were, we were inspired. I, my first car when I was 17 years old was a Oldsmobile, 56 Oldsmobile. It was a different model than this. This one we spotted in Bakersfield at another show in April of 2012. And uh, we were really looking for a convertible, but I said to Mike very glibly, oh, we can always cut the top off. And he said, absolutely. And problem. that's what we did. This <laughs> is a 98, removed the top, made a Carson... Uh, removable top, chopped the windshield uh, two and a quarter inches, and as Mike just said, uh, there's very little on that car that hasn't been touched. Many, many, maybe 50, 60 pieces, one-off, fabricated for us. Uh, everything's plated. Uh, the paint job took oh, almost a year and a half, and uh, we hope we're serious competitors. No, it's a very cool car. What kind of plating did you use on it? Uh, well, we used uh, nickel, sat, sat nickel, and, and polished nickel. Very, very difficult process to do. You know, the guys over at, uh, at Advanced Plating, Steve and Josh, they did an awesome job on it, but it was very, very difficult to do. You know, the polished nickel, not so bad. The satin nickel was a, definitely a, a challenge for them. Right on. You know, the nickel looks good, but it's not easy to it, get it's it. It's not right. easy, yeah. exactly. So that's what made it. So well, everything is nickel plated, no chrome. Everything's nickel plated from bolts, fasteners, uh, the throttle bodies are 6 uh, 2G style, you know, but they're throttle bodies, not right. carburetors. Right. Those have all been uh, nickel plated as well. What engine does it have in it? That's a uh, Hemi uh, 354 uh, automatic transmission. Uh, what color is it? Uh, the color, it's Jeff's uh, take well, on a blue. We, we, I like to call it way past midnight blue. Everybody says, well, it's midnight blue. No, ours is way past midnight <laughs> blue. Our painter, Doug, from Starside Designs is just a master. Uh, he's working on the car as we talk, and it just gets better looking every minute. Tell me, it's got some ghost graphics in it. Where did those come from? That was Mike and I. We like subtle. And, uh, you know, with the spotlights on it now, you'll see it better than in, in a different light. And we're not into, you know, bright yellow frames unless it calls for that. Right. And yeah, very, very subtle, but yet, you know, you, you got to come up on it and see it. And it's also it's traditional. Back in the yeah. 50s, the 60s, you know, these cars had, you know, uh, scallops and uh, they did have That's flames. What they them right. Scallops. Right. Yeah, no, I was telling people it's really cool because I'm into the ghost stuff, right? And yeah. this stuff just disappears. Like in the wrong light or the right light, yeah. however yeah. you want to put it. Yeah. Right? You see it and then all of a sudden it just disappears back into the paint. But if you Absolutely. come from the other way, mm -hmm. it does it the other way. Yeah. So, no, very That's, cool. That's what we wanted. Tell me a little bit about the wheels. Well, the wheels are one off, uh, designed uh, by the same fellow who designed most of our one-off parts. He's uh, Jonathan Peace. He designed a car for his father that won the 2012 Riddler Award, a 55 T-Bird. And he designs and machines all the parts. And I wanted to replicate uh, a 56 Oldsmobile hubcap. They called them Starfire hubcaps back in those days. It was a three-blade spinner. And he knocked it out of the park. Uh, if you twist the spinner off, we have lugs behind it, okay. but they're very similar to the hubcaps, yet they're a whole entire wheels. What uh, size are they? Uh, those are 18. Okay. All right. And then interior, let's talk about that. That's some unique coloring in there, but I really dig it. It works really uh, well with the rest of the car. Well, there again, we uh, Mike's been using the same people for years. This would be uh, Bill's Hot Rod Upholstery in Brea, California, and Willie, the owner, is a good friend and Francisco who works for him, they just also knock it out of the park. And they, they, they not only had the car for quite a bit of time, but they came to our shop to steam, clean everything, make it look perfect. So. There's a lot of items in the, in the interior as well that have been all CNC machine. You know, the instrument cluster, uh, classic instruments, they uh, built the, the instrument panel for us. It's kind of like the, uh, 
uh, Lincoln Zephyr style instrumentation, but the whole panel itself, which is all out of aluminum, that's all been designed by Jonathan and the armrests, the door handles, the pedals, the seal plates. Steering that's wheel, the steering shifter, wheel, turn on, signal turn knobs, turn just signal. everything has been designed and machined. The, uh, on the center console. So nothing happens automatically, does it? No. no. People don't understand that every, everything has got a decision behind it. Oh, yeah. Oh, Where yeah. at, what yeah. color, what finish, how it should be. Well, as I said to you recently, um, when you're trying to win this thing, um, the Riddler, that is, uh, you, you've got to throw out the phrase, that's good enough, let's do something else. It's got to be as close to perfect as you can humanly make it. And they tell you when you, when you come here, we expect you to bring a perfect car, and then we'll tell you what's not perfect about That's it. Right. And they find fault with all the cars. It's just natural, no perfect mousetrap. That's know. right. No, and that is that's the unfortunate thing about this, is you bring a car that you've sweated over and spent a lot of money on, a yeah. lot of time and energy, and then their job is to come in and find out what's wrong with it. Yeah. Sure. Right? It's not about what's right, because there's so much right on all of them. On it's about them, what's wrong yeah. What's on wrong? Car, of course. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I think you all are real competitors. You're I welcome. think you've got a really Great. good shot at this, and what a beautiful car. Thanks for giving me some time. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Scotty D. Thank you. So there you go from the 2020 Detroit Auto Ram on 1956 Oldsmobile 98 Custom. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya. Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.